It broke my heart when she would come home crying. And as you can see, I have never forgotten their cruelties. The scourge of bullying is nothing new, but as two southeastern boys wage a fight to end it, more people are coming to their side, including the 73-year-old woman whose own experiences changed her life. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Waddell. And I'm Guy Ashley. At Nine on Your Side, we are committed to exposing bullying and covering the efforts to end it. Through our coverage, we have introduced you to two students in Vail who are doing the same. Levi Falavalita and Gabe Villa wrote a book to teach kids what to do when they're harassed or hurt at school or online. Last night, Nine on Your Side was there as they launched a new anti-bullying video campaign, one in which victims like Max McCoy share their own stories. A kid wanted the soccer ball that me and my best friend were playing with. And we said no, so he forcefully took it and grabbed me around my neck and threw me to the ground and then punched my best friend across the face. I had three vertebrae dislocated in my neck and I had to go to chiropractor and I still do. The 12-year-olds have inspired so many to break their silence and share their stories of bullying. One woman reached back more than half a century to recall hers. In our Not On Your Side commitment to continuing coverage of this story, Kevin Keene shows us the heartfelt and deeply personal letter she wrote to Levi and Gabe. When Constance Taylor first heard about the two Vail students working to end bullying, I rushed to my typewriter and began to write. So feeding a clean sheet, the Benson woman wasted no time writing down her support of the 12-year-olds. Then she quickly mailed them the letter. Dear Levi and Gabe, I want to thank the two of you over and over for having the courage to address this very serious and common problem. For the success of your project, I again give God the glory in advance, as the two of you have the potential to affect generations. And it is a generation that separates Constance from the students. She's 73 years old, but says bullying affected her more than half a century ago. She clearly remembers the girl in her third grade class everyone called Cooties. I knew she couldn't have felt very good, so uh, I was quite popular in the class. And so I thought I could make an impression by becoming her friend. And so that I did. And then after that, it didn't take long, she was never called that name again. How long ago was that? Was it not six decades ago? Yeah. And why is it stuck with you? Well, I just never forget things that, uh, that are cruel. The mother wrote about these experiences in her letter. And as you can see, I have never forgotten their cruelties. Bullying leaves victims with permanent scars of the kind we cannot see. And it's becoming more and more prevalent, as we know. And, and they are doing much more dangerous things to their victims. Dangerous things that need to be put to a stop. Taylor advocates helping victims, but also bullies themselves. The bully also needs compassion. That uh, he may not be a bully deep down, and we need to understand why he's so angry and unhappy. He's not happy. He doesn't want to be like this. Constance, with her unique perspective, has all kinds of suggestions to help stop bullying. She included them in her letter, which I must say is beautifully written. And we will post a copy of that letter on our website, kgun9.com. So nice of her to come forward. You have to wonder whether she'll ever be able to meet Levi and Gabe. They hope so, and they hope to do that soon. Mm -hmm. And I know that Levi plans to present a copy of his book to Constance, and we know they'll have a lot to talk about. Great story, Kevin. Thanks.